Okay, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a nice three-day weekend. Today is Tuesday, September 5th, 2017, and our learning goal today is to be able to use what we know about place value to add decimals. And we are doing lesson 1.9 in your math workbook. So that's module one, lesson nine. In your math notebook, draw yourself a place value chart that has space for the ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. Okay, if this is my decimals, I have the ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, where does the decimal point go? The decimal point always goes between which two place values? Martin? Between the ones and the tenths. You got it. So we're going to put our decimal point right here between the ones and the tenths. That's where the decimal point always goes. Now today we're going to use dots at first to help us model what we have here. So if I have two tenths, how many dots do I have to draw in the, tenth, in the tenths column? Two. So if I have two tenths and then I want to add six more tenths, how many more dots do I have to draw? Six. Six. So go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, based on what we've drawn, if I had originally two tenths, and then I drew six more tenths. What do I have when I add that all together? How many do I have inside my tenths column? Eight. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So therefore, two tenths plus six tenths equals eight tenths. How do I write that using standard form? Zero point eight. This is an example of how to use what's called place value disks to model addition. Do you see how we're adding two tenths to six tenths? So if we first drew two dots in the tenths column, and then we drew six dots in the tenths column. All together, we had eight dots in the tenths column. Okay, this time if we're going to use dots in our um, place values chart to model it, what do I need to draw first? I have two ones. So how many dots do I need to draw and where do I need to draw to model two ones? Grant? So I'll draw two dots in the ones place and then it says three thousandths. So what other dots do I need to draw? Gia? Um, you need to draw three dots in the thousandths. You got it. Three dots in the thousandths place. Now to that I'm going to add six ones and one thousandth. So what dots do I need to draw? Ani? <coughs> what dots do I need to draw? Okay, so what do I need to draw? I'll draw one more dot into the thousands column because it says six ones, one thousand. Is there anything else I need to draw? Young? I'll have to draw six dots in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there anything else I need to draw, Nanya? In order to find out what we have all together, we just need to count up what we have. How many dots do we have in the ones column? Eight. So how many ones do we have? Eight. So we have eight ones. Do we have any tenths? No. Do we have any hundredths? No. Do we have any thousandths? So we have eight ones, four thousandths. So if you're taking good notes, you should be writing this in your notebook. And so how do we write that in standard form? Well, eight point, and we have to have the four in the what place value? Thousand. So we have to 8.004, and that's our answer. Whenever you see a problem asking you to model it using pictures, this is an example of how you can model decimal addition using pictures. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Go ahead in your notebook and write 1.8 plus 13 tenths. Write it out exactly how you see it there because you might see it that way on the test or in your practice problems, etc. Now, let's talk about the 1.8 first. How many dots do I need to draw? Do I have any ones there? Nithya, how many ones do I have? One. So how many dots do I draw and where do I draw them? I'm going to draw one dot in the ones column. Okay, that took care of this part. What about the point 0.8? That's 8 tenths, right? So Sanjana, what do I need to draw? So since it's 8 tenths, you'll draw 8 dots in the tenths. Very good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight. Now to that, I want to add 13 tenths. So how many dots do I need to draw in the tenths column? 13. Go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So now let's look at what our answer could be. I have how many one how many dots do I have in the ones column? One. one. And how many dots do I have in the tens column? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. Now if I write 1.21, is that 1 and 21 tenths? No. That'd be 1 and 21 what? Hundreds. Hundreds, yeah. So what I need to do is I need to regroup. I know that these 10 tenths can become 1 what? Can become 1 1, yeah. Okay. And do I have another 10 tenths? Yeah, these 10 tenths can also become 1 1. So now that I've regrouped, how many ones do I really have? Three. I have three dots in the ones column. And how many tenths do I have left over? One. So my answer is three ones and one tenth. Do you see how we know that ten tenths equals one one? So I can regroup them to write it in standard form. So 1.8 plus 13 tenths in standard form, the answer would be 3.1. Before we write standard form, we need to take a look. Is there anything that needs to be regrouped? Gia, tell me more. Yeah, because I have more than 10 hundredths, don't I? I have 12 hundredths. So I can take 10 of them, and these 10 hundredths become one what? 10. Okay, so now we're ready to write it in standard form. How many hundredths do I have? Everyone, how many hundredths do I have? How many hundreds do I have? One. How many tens do I have? Zero. How many ones do I have? Two. How many tenths do I have? One. How many hundredths do I have? Two. How many thousandths do I have? Zero. So is my answer one zero two one two zero? No. What is it missing? It's missing the decimal point. Where does the decimal point always, always go? Where does it always, always go? Young? Before the ones? Right here? After the ones. Between the ones and the tenths. So my final answer in standard form is 102 and 12 hundredths. Rather than drawing 148 little dots in the thousands column, would that be a good use of our time? No. We can regroup. Supan, you said we can regroup this in our head. Tell me more. Can we see that 148 is the same as 100 thousandths plus 40 thousandths? plus eight thousandths, do you guys agree? Yeah. And we know that one hundred thousandths is the same as one what? Tenth. Tenth, good. And we know that forty thousandths is the same as what? Four hundredths, good. Okay, so if we know that, can we draw one in the tenths, four in the hundredths, and eight in the thousandths? Okay, very good. To this, we need to add seven ones, 13 thousandths. So we can draw seven dots in the ones column. Remember, we're going to draw five and then move down to the next row. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two more, six, seven. Now, we could draw 13 dots in the thousands column, couldn't we? No. Could we also regroup in our head? Yes. Yeah. Can we think that this is the same thing as 10 plus 3? Right? And so the 10 would be actually how many hundredths? One. So if I'm going to draw five in a row, should I add to that row or start a new row? Okay, very good. And then how many thousands do I need to draw? One, two, three. Okay, is there anything I need to regroup? Yes. What do I need to regroup, Marvin? Uh, you need to regroup the thousands. Good. I can see easily I have two rows here which means I have 10 thousandths, so I need to regroup those to become one what? Hundredth. Hundredth, very good. Is there anything else I need to regroup? No. no. So now I'm ready to write it in standard form. How many dots do I have in the ones column? Seven. How many dots do I have in the tenths column? One. How many dots do I have in the hundredths column? 
And how many dots do I have in the thousands column? One. And I know my decimal point always goes between the ten uh, sorry, the ones and the tenths. So my answer is seven and one hundred sixty-one thousandths. We're gonna take what we've learned about how modeling it using the place value chart and relating it to the standard algorithm. Okay? So if I have 0 0.74 plus 0 0.59, go ahead and write that in your notebook. Let's write that using the place value chart. I have 0 0.7 in the tenths column and 4 in the hundredths. And I'm going to add to a 0 0.59. Did I line up all the place values? Yeah, and I can tell I've lined up all the place values if my decimal points are lined up, if they're right on top of each other. Is this the same as drawing four dots in the hundredths column and then drawing nine more dots? Yeah. Okay. So if I had four dots and I have nine dots all together, how many dots do I have in the hundredths column? Thirteen. Thirteen. However, I know ten of those will be regrouped to become one-tenth. Yes? yes? Now I have one new dot that was regrouped in the tenths column plus seven dots plus five dots. So how many dots do I have all together? Thirteen. Same thing. Ten of those would be regrouped to become a one. So how many one dots do I have all together? One. one. And my decimal point stays there, right, between the ones and the tenths. So my answer is 1.33.